This morning's story from St. Luke's Gospel is short, easy to read and follow, but a little tricky to interpret and imply and apply. Martha and Mary are often pitted against one another, as if one way of acting is always right and the other always wrong, but I would submit that there's more to this story, and especially in light of this being a season where we have baptisms and new people who, who come into the church, uh, there's some reflections in order, and three observations come to mind. The first, this story reminds us that Christians are not all cut from the same cloth. We have different personalities, temperaments, gifts, and as you might expect, ways of expressing our faith and offering our service in the kingdom of God. Martha had the gift of hospitality. And the story tells us that she welcomed Jesus and made him feel right at home. This was happening during the time that Jesus was sending out his assistants, and so the kind of hospitality that Martha offered was a template of what should be provided. I would say parenthetically that the gift of hospitality is important in every activity that the church does. Uh, right down to coffee hour that we have this morning. Those people who have that gift of hospitality uh, indeed contribute much to the work of the kingdom. That said, Mary, on the other hand, sat at Jesus' feet. She hung on every word he offered. Martha was a whirlwind of activity. Mary quietly listened. Both were serving the Lord in the way that they knew best with the gifts that each of them possessed. So I would submit that both Mary's and Martha's are valued in the kingdom of God, and I would even go so far as to say that most of us have a little bit of Mary and a little bit of Martha in us if only we would allow them to be developed a bit. Second observation is that simply having a gift is not enough. A gift is not a gift unless there is a giver and a receiver. Have you ever found yourself in a situation where someone wanted to give you way more than you really needed at that particular moment? You're looking for a bowl of soup, a piece of bread, a cup of cool water, maybe a place to rest and contemplate quietly. Martha's bringing out multiple courses, best of everything, and she's ticked that her sister is not knee-deep in the hoopla. In this case, Jesus was in the midst of his journey to Jerusalem, a journey that will ultimately lead him to the cross, and so for Jesus, less was more than enough. Mary's quiet ministry of presence carried the day. She adopted what amounted to be the posture of a disciple, something normally ascribed to men at that time. While well, Scripture says it is more blessed to give than to receive, I found that it often is more difficult to receive than to give. And in this story, Jesus is clearly wanting to give and have others receive. Third is that timing is everything. Sometimes we need to give. Sometimes we need to receive. Sometimes it's about what we do. Other times it's enough simply to be. Martha was working on her time. Mary was living on God's time. All of us who decide to follow Jesus um, are on a journey. That journey is going to take us many places. It's going to have us doing many things. All of us would stand to learn, to stop, to hear the voice of the one who calls each of us to hear the words of life and to follow where Jesus leads. As others hear that voice and try to discern where they need to go, may we, as the church community, be reminded to listen and to walk with those who seek to follow Jesus. 
we are all in this together. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.